Barry and Thomas here, and today I'm going to teach you how to fix a leaking toilet. So if you see here, uh, I have uh, my bowl down here. It's catching water. It's been catching it for a long time. As you notice, it's actually really dirty back here. I'm actually remodeling this house. Um, so this is just, uh, you know, something that I wanted to get, stop it from leaking right away. Um, but uh, I will show you how to do it pretty quick and pretty simple. Nothing really to it, but uh, let's get to it. So the first thing that I did is I removed, obviously, the uh, toilet uh, lid. And uh, as you notice, there's three bolts. There's that one, that one, and that one. And the bolt that I'm going to be tightening is this one right here. Also, I want to point out, I just uh, got this from Home Depot. So this is a 16-inch. Uh, this is a 16-inch uh, for a flathead. Um, and it's important, they have 12 inch, you know, but for the most part, I wanted to get 16 inches because usually the reason why this bolt, you know, it is the one that's always kind of loose is because if you're using a regular screwdriver, if you notice, obviously you have a lot of the mechanicals here. So primarily my only reach would be pretty close to inside the, uh, the bowl. Um, so you can't obviously get a lot of leverage. You can't get a lot of torque with it. So that's why I got the 16. Uh, for the most part, it's going to give me a lot more leverage and I can, you know, use that leverage to tighten up that, that bolt, but that's pretty much it. And, uh, I'll, uh, show you how I'm going to do it really quickly. And I'll show you, there's no real trick to it. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm on it right now and I'm going to turn it. So you notice that it wasn't in as tight. It's actually pretty loose and, uh, you don't want to go too, too tight. Uh, because again, you don't want to break the porcelain. Um, you know, but for the most part, you definitely want to make sure that it's snug and yeah, you can just see how loose it originally was. Um, and a couple more turns and we should be good. I think we're definitely a lot tighter than what we originally were. Just a little bit more. And a couple of different, and what you also can do is um, there's a nut at the bottom. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm videotaping, that's probably what I'll do. But you also want to get underneath the toilet here. And uh, there's a small nut that you're going to be, you can hold on to. To that, that's going to obviously help. With tightening but for the most part that's all it is so you can see it's pretty snug on there it wasn't as loose as it was it was jiggling before and uh that's definitely gonna stop the uh water from dripping but that's usually a common 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 problem is it's this nut that's close to the mechanicals um in the uh, toilet um because again you can't get as much uh torque on that so uh so as you can see um you know, I'll show you this bowl right here. You know, this is pretty dry as I can't really dry it like that. So I have to actually left it sitting there for a little while. Um, but uh, that's really all it was. And, you know, obviously this toilet isn't the cleanest. Keep in mind, like I said, I'm, I'm renovating this. But I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to fix that. I'll flush the toilet just to give you an idea. Um, you know, it's not dripping at all there. Um, you know, but that's very simple. I mean, a lot of these uh, big problems, honestly, it's tools that you use, you know, you just may not ever get the perfect amount of torque uh, to uh, get that down. But, you know, with that longer uh, 16 inch, um, you know, a, a screwdriver um, flathead, you can, and I recommend getting it. You know, it's about, I wanna say I paid like 12 bucks at uh, Home Depot. And uh, trust me, uh, it's not gonna be the only project that I'm sure you're gonna use it for. So hopefully you liked it, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.